So something I thought about in terms of, you know, hey, look at Pokemon go to the moon was what if we had like an influencer and that influencer was as big as Logan Paul or similarly big and they just loved Magic the Gathering and all they did was they did what Logan Paul did. He asked his subscribers who were, again, more than happy to uh, pay. Uh, specifically, it was for cards or for packs. Um, well, for the subscribers, um, it would be pretty obvious what they would be paying for. They would be paying for individual cards in a alpha starter deck. And that's exactly what Pay Money Wubby has done. He's opened a shit ton of product recently. Very expensive product. Product that most Magic players will never have the opportunity to open. And opening products, um, surprising no one, is the best way to generate hype and excitement in card games. So I was wondering, hey, you know, the Pokemon's going to the moon because of Logan Paul. Is there a scenario where pay money wubby uh penguin z some huge influencer can really bring up the magic market and specifically vintage magic and i think so i mean you look at some pretty big names right i think Ms. kiff was trying to get the one-on-one -on -one ring i know a few different people uh, larger youtubers were trying to chase that unfortunately the ring chase ended in my opinion a lot sooner than i thought it would end you know it it would end incredibly soon and then obviously post malone big name so he ended up with the ring for a shade under a shade above two million dollars, but that was it. You know, Post Malone didn't do any more stuff. At the ring, he just kind of owned the ring. He didn't really go on tour of it or whatever. And I wonder um, if we had a pay money wabi or somebody who was consistently, um, and we mean consistently. I mean they're constantly opening stuff every Monday, for instance. And they are actually, you know, going ham and they got all these friends and these friends are opening stuff and Penguin Z is opening stuff and they make a big deal of it. Um, could magic actually go up? Uh, during the time that Pokemon went up, magic really did not. Um, it, it didn't go up at all. I can tell you, it actually went down in price. So I'm, I'm looking at these graphs and I'm like, wait, so Pokemon is going through the moon. Um, why is things not working? You know, why are things really not working right now? Um, I don't know. I do not know. So when I think about the influencers that would be good for this product obviously you got the big ones right the bigger the better but pay money wubby because of his connections to a lot of these people he's they're, he's bringing them into ho hobby magic is the oldest card game it ain't no meta zoo i tell you that much man you put money into meta zoo um yikes man they're having a bankruptcy sh sale the entire meta zoo empire might be only worth uh $500,000. The entire MetaZoo Empire might be worth less money than Pay Money Wubby has ripped in the last three days. Right? He ripped uh, three of these starter alpha decks at $120,000. Let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. That's the pro price. $360,000. I don't think MetaZoo as a company goes for that amount of money in bankruptcy, to be honest with you. Uh, and, and that's the power of influencers. You know, influencers made MetaZoo and they tore apart MetaZoo. And they deleted all their video alpha investments. They delete all the videos about MetaZoo and, and that's it, right? I mean, it was... Um, and then you look at Ma the test of time, guys. People will always, always love magic. They will. They will always, always love magic. Because it is the oldest card game. It, it is, it's got history. It's got a lot of things. Um... That these other newer card games simply don't have. And it's a player base. People grew up. I grew up with Magic. I didn't grow up with no MetaZoo. Like what the hell is MetaZoo? And influencers who love this type of stuff. And they really do love it. They're going to keep opening it. Because not. you. And here's the crazy part. Wizard of the Coast spent a hundred million dollars on Autumn Buccelli to cancel 
artist and, and so on, and the whole NPL was a complete failure, they spent zero dollars on this dude. They have sent him zero free product. They, to my knowledge, they have sent him, you know, this dude, Pay Money Wubby, is not sponsored at all. You know, I, I remember that alpha investment thing. Oh, the, the the number one unsponsored, unchained, under no, no, that's pay money wubby. That's not alpha investments. Alpha investments is chained to flesh and blood. When flesh and blood told him to delete that video, he immediately boop deleted the video. Right? Flesh and blood CEO called him and said, Hey Alpha Investment, I don't want you to talk shit about us. Alright, video deleted. Right? I mean, come on. He's not I mean, he was he was the his face is literally plastered all over MetaZoo. How could he be unsponsored, guys? Do like, you understand what sponsored means? No, Pay Money Wubby is unsponsored, unchained, unleased, right? He says crazy shit that Wizard of the Coach probably wouldn't be comfortable with him saying, right? Uh, not even just like off stream, like on stream, he's saying this stuff. And we know Wizard of the Coach loves canceling people over like very minimum, in my opinion, very minimal statements like uh, Teresa Nielsen, who liked a tweet and she reposted. I mean, come on. Like, it turns out every, the more you use Twitter, the more people can use Twitter against you. Like, all these people have very, hey, oh, but back to the influencer thing. We here, boys. We go to the moon. We go to that mother effing moon. And I can tell you something. I'm going to tell you something really obvious. All we needed was a mother effing influencer. That's all we needed. Um, that's all we ever needed. Uh, we, we don't need nobody else. Um, we don't need nobody else. And we don't need anyone else, right? Um... I am going to go ahead and I'm going to say something pretty interesting. And uh, this is what I'm going to put out there. I think we are in the golden age of vintage, of vintage guys, vintage, okay, Magic the Gathering. We have massive influencers that we didn't have before, opening massive and the most expensive product in a existence and things are going as well as they possibly can um there's nothing else that like i mean outside of logan paul himself that we can really ask for in terms of like pr and um this is the biggest you know and and this is the best uh time to acquire these things i'm glad i have some of them because i don't think it will be that easy to acquire them moving forward anyway hi guys